Canada Bay does not have any wilderness cycling tracks, but this one is as close as you will get. For competent riders, a mountain bike can tackle this trail with ease. Be warned though that there are occasional tree roots and rutted sections that can become wheel stoppers for those who aren't skilled up. For someone accustomed to riding on soft surfaces, hybrid bikes can be managed if ridden with care. Bikes with skinny high pressure tyres would be considered marginal even for skilled riders. The 4.5 km ride starts from the Kalula Street entrance of the Kokoda Track Memorial Walkway in Rhodes. Cyclists are not permitted on this track, which is why we're starting at this place. There is a prohibition sign on the paved section at the start, but you only need to walk about 100 metres before the trail goes off piste and you can start riding. The open area on the right is Lovedale Reserve. The cordoned off area is where Canada Bay Bush Care Group have been at work regenerating the vegetation. Once off piste, the trail takes you between the mangroves of Brace Bay and the Concord Hospital car park. Luckily you can't see much of the car park from the trail. Beware that the track can be narrow and winding in places. When encountering pedestrians, slow down, ring your bell and give way. It doesn't hurt to give them a smile and say good day. Passing the end of Hospital Road takes you into the grounds of Rivendell School. Originally a hospital built by Sir Thomas Walker in 1896. The grounds are held in trust by the state government. Follow the north bank of the peninsula out to Rocky Point and then along the south bank. Beware that as you approach Rocky Point, you'll have to negotiate a small gully behind some hospital buildings via two sets of stairs. It's easy to see in the daytime, but could come as a nasty surprise at night. You may encounter friendly staff from the hospital along the way. The next stage is along the hospital road system. Beware of traffic. At the time of recording, there was also building activity going on. So furthermore, beware of building operations during business hours. The turnoff that takes you back to the trail is hidden by helipad construction hoardings on the left. There is a sign that will direct you back to the trail. The 200 metre section leading from the hospital precinct chops and changes quite a bit before reaching the grounds of the Dame Edith Walker estate. Just keep the mangroves on your left and you can't get lost. As you round the corner, the vegetation opens up on the right to reveal the fields of the Uralla estate, also known as the Dame Edith Walker estate. Also up on the right, you may see a fenced area that has been cordoned off as the temporary hospital helipad. According to the Canada Bay Heritage Society, the land was originally granted in 1797 to ex-convict Isaac Nichols, who built a house there in the 1830s that still stands today. After Isaac Nichols died, Thomas Walker obtained a mortgage over the property and from 1857 commissioned the architect Edmund Blackett to design a cottage overlooking the shores of the Parramatta River. The Walker family held a long association with Concord through their philanthropic acts. It's well worth taking the time to explore the estate and learn more about it. The Heritage Society runs tours there twice a year, pandemics permitting. They also run a yearly tour at Rivendell. The estate is now held under trust by the Sydney Local Health District and is home to the Dame Edith Walker Hospital. As we leave the estate, you'll notice that the shared path suddenly improves to modern standards, and that's because it's on land controlled by Canada Bay Council. There have been several attempts in the past to upgrade the rough track going through land controlled by the Sydney Local Health District, but they all failed. The last 500 metres of this trail passes through Majors Bay Reserve and finishes in Rickard Street, Concord. It 
It's a short ride, but quite an adventure nonetheless. It's a great place to spot wildlife, and every encounter I've had in the past were with people who were in their happy place.